Hey guys, I hope you're doing good and welcome to our CFD Engineers Master's program. My name is Sarang and I am the program director. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a lot of details about what is it that's covered in this particular program. And I'll also be going through the list of projects that you will be doing and how it's going to be useful for you. First of all, the program is nine months long and contains 10 comprehensive projects. There is a possibility to finish one to two national level publications, which is amazing for those of you who are interested in pursuing their higher education. Now, all of this is made possible through four courses. So the first course that you're going to be learning is called Introduction to Computational Fluid Dynamics using MATLAB and OpenFOAM. So in this course, you're learning how to build your own solver and you're doing so by building four projects where you are writing codes in MATLAB and also building cases using a software called OpenFOAM. The second course that you will be enrolling is called Python for Mechanical Engineers. Now a good CFD engineer should be skilled in task automation and data analysis and Python is the go-to language for that. And that is why we are basically teaching you Python so that you understand how to do data analysis and task automation. In addition to this, learning Python is going to be very useful for you because your third course is about Python. And in your third course, you're basically learning computational combustion. When it comes to CFD, if you take any modern CFD solver like ANSYS or convert CFD, they can simulate both reacting and non-reacting flows. Now, in order to understand reacting flows, you should learn computational combustion. And here's the advantage. If you take a company like ANSYS that hires a lot of application engineers. So these are people who use ANSYS to help OEMs build products, right? Now, when ANSYS is looking for an applications engineer, they would prefer it if the engineer is comfortable with simulating both reacting and non-reacting flows. And also, if you take large OEM companies that are working on combustion analysis, they would basically prefer engineers who know what computational combustion is and they know the details of it. And that is why you are learning the third course. And finally, you're taking a course on advanced IC engine simulations where you're putting all of these together. Now, if you take an engine, you know that there's a lot of things going on. First of all, the geometry is really complex. There's flow coming in, the flow is turbulent. In addition to this, the geometry is also moving, correct? So you need to understand how you should set up this turbulent flow properly. What are the right solver settings and model settings that you need to use? And in addition to this, once the flow comes inside the engine and when you are at the end of the compression stroke, combustion is going to take place, right? And you need to understand how this combustion is modeled. And this is where your expertise from course number three is going to help you a lot. And in your final course, you will be working on industry standard project, meaning the geometries that you will be handling are going to be very similar to what an engineer in General Motors or Ford Motors is handling today. So let me kind of talk about how this program is going to work. Now, as I mentioned, there are four courses. Now, each course is three months long, except for the Python course. So three months is about 12 weeks. So what will happen is we will provide you recorded content for 12 weeks. You are going to watch it. You are going to practice what we are providing there. And whenever you have a question, you are going to attend our live support sessions to get answers to those questions. And the best part is, in addition to getting the support, you will also be taking challenges. Taking challenges is really useful because that is going to improve your understanding of the topic enormously. All right, so let's kind of talk about this career program timeline. You are going to initially start with introduction to CFD and then you will take up the Python course. When you are just about to start the Python course, we will be doing your first review. In your first review session, we'll be able to add four projects to your resume. After that, you start your Python course. And then just before you start the combustion course, we'll do a second review. You would have completed around six projects by this time. And then once you start your combustion course, we'll start your career planning. Now here, depending on what you want, we will help you out. If you need placement assistance, we'll help you with that. If you want higher education planning, we will help you with that as well. All right. And then finally, you will be taking up your Convert CFD course. So let me kind of talk about what are the projects that you will be doing. In total, you are going to be doing 10 projects. Now let us briefly take a look at what are these projects. The first project is going to be a 1D supersonic nozzle flow simulation using the McCormick method. Here you are writing code from MATLAB. Now remember, even if you do not know MATLAB, it's perfectly fine because we teach you right from the basics. The second course is going to be solving a 2D heat conduction PDE. Here you are going to be solving both steady state and transient approaches and you will be incorporating standard linear solvers to solve this equation. Then projects number three and four will be in open form and this will deal with automatic mesh generation, turbulence model sweeps and so on. 
your project number five and six are going to be with python now here the objective is to make you build simulators and get you familiarized with task automation and data analysis so in this course you will be building our standard cycle simulators processing nasa thermodynamic data files and so on now projects number seven and eight are going to be related to computational combustion now in this course your final project will deal with sensitivity analysis in ignition delay and flame speed information now at this point it is completely reasonable for you to feel that this is really complex but don't worry we will be slowly building into this content we'll start with simple concepts and slowly add several layers of complexity to it so that you will be able to understand what these concepts are when you get to them Project number 9 and 10 will be done using Converge Studio and this is part of your last course. Your first project would be a multi-dimensional simulation of a port fuel injected engine. So this is what I meant as industry standard geometry. You're dealing with an industry like PFI engine, you're setting up the flow simulation, you're setting up the spray modeling, you're setting up turbulence and you're setting up combustion. And you will be processing a large amount of data towards the end. Project number 10 is going to be emission characterization on a CAT 3410 engine. You heard me right, it's a Caterpillar engine. In this particular case, you will be doing something called as a bowel swap study. You will be performing closed cycle simulation using the sector analysis technique, using the sector technique to reduce computational time. This project is going to be very industry relevant because in the industry, the analyst is trying out different designs to see which design gives better thermal performance and emission performance. Alright, so I hope at this point you understand the complexity and the level of courses that we offer. This is the reason why students from top universities in India and students outside India take up our courses. Within India, you have students from IIT Karakpur, IIT Madras, College of Engineering, Indi, PhD Tech and Delhi Technological University taking our courses. And outside India, we have students from Illinois Institute of Technology, Michigan Technological University and so on. Alright, with that, I would like to conclude this demo and I hope you kind of understood how this program works. Now, if you have more questions, feel free to give us a call using the number that's being shown on the screen. So I hope you will consider joining this program. Thank you so much. Bye.